Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where we are gonna go dancing! Well, hello, Mr. Dancer. Hold me closer! Hold me closer with my souls! Alright, so. So this person obviously originated. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, sorry, this person obviously originated in uh, Irafil, right? Hence, of the Boreal Valley. Duh. And she even looks quite a bit like our good friends that we saw there. Hmm. <clears throat> you gotta be very careful with that one. Uh oh. Yeah, because that grab of hers can one shot me, even if I'm on full health. So, yeah, just be a little bit careful about that. She's almost serpent-like in her movements, it's crazy. One more. Yep, 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 and now she's gonna do her crazy crazies. She's gonna finish up, and hit her once more. Nice. Oh, not nice. Survived it. Like, I'd prefer to fight her properly. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start fighting her properly right now. The rest of a bar is gonna come with. Uh oh. Sorry. The rest of a bar is gonna come from actual swordplay. <laughs> Two shots. Bloodborne strats. Get behind. Uh oh. Hmm. Two shots from death. <laughs> of course, I deserve nothing less for uh, deciding to go in for a more personal kill. Like Pontiff Sullivan, Aldrich, etc. We learned plenty about before we saw them. Ow. But this dame, not so much. Alright, here, puppet. Okay, one thing that I noticed was, remember Vort of the Boreal Valley. Remember how he moved, remember his physique. He was most sincerely bestial, almost hound-like, in his manner and in his appearance. Now, I think when I said her movements are very serpentine, there may have been more to that than I originally Posited. Now, <laughs> if these people were somehow infused with animals or with animal spirits, careful, careful. Oh, that one's even further. Yeah. If, like, the mightiest of them were infused with bestial energy. As the pontiff right eye, sorry, pontiff left eye, right eye, etc. seem to indicate, it is entirely possible. Get on in. Oops, and then she's gonna do a little bit more. No, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she was not done. She had someone left to prove. Easy, easy! Damn it. You gotta wait for those openings, man. You gotta wait for them. So yes, the eyes seem to indicate that his more powerful... So no, 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 the ones he sent out. The ones he sent out. The knights he sent out, which must have been Dancer and Vort. Must have been dancing before. Oh dear. Um, were somehow infused with bestial presence to the point where they have taken on aspects of beasts themselves, namely that of the hound and that of a serpent. I mean, like. 
even that, the, uh... <coughs> that attack she had there where she extended... Uh, can I survive this? Oh well, she's just gonna dodge it. Nice. Get a couple of swings in. One more. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, even that attack there where she extends her blade like that, it's almost like a... It's almost like an extending tongue. Survive? Good on ya. Easy. Oh, what did I do? I don't know what I did, but it wasn't what I wanted. Alright, easy now. Easy now! I'm still alive. I don't know how I'm still alive. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Ooh, wow. She just keeps going. Thing is, I could kill it easily with magic right now. But I'm just being cocky. <laughs> One more try. Come on, come on, come on. This is the run. Easy. Easy game, really. Ow. I'll just take a drink. Oh. Oh, ouch. Very ouch, baby. False start, false start, didn't count. Grab the souls. Start launching. Uh oh. Ha! Ow. Not exactly ha ha, but you know, whatever, I'll take it. Wow! Did I get worse or did she get better? Do a little bit of this. I mean, if she's not gonna. If she's not gonna present an opening, I'm just gonna take one where it's offered. Okay, easy. A little bit of this. And dodge it, thank you. That was very, very close. Ow. Uh, okay. Half my just gone, not a problem. But then again, if I really wanted to um, keep my Astus, I wouldn't have gotten hit by the guys out front. A little bit of this. Up the butt. Excellent. One more. Excellent. One more. Alright, cool. Melee time. Two. Three. Steady. Steady as she goes. There we go. So easy. Such an easy game. Soul of the Dancer. What are you even doing? Who do you think you are? Ember restored. Thank you for the Ember. My good man. My good lady. Soul of the Dancer, what do you got for me? Soul of the Dancer. Twisted souls, steeped in strength. The Pontiff Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon a distant daughter of the formal royal family, ordering her to serve first as a dancer and then as an outrider knight, the equivalent to exile. Hmm. I wonder what their relationship was. Because, okay, distant daughter of the formal royal family. Formal royal family tells me that they wielded little actual power. Sullivan is the one who held the real power. And we know that because he imprisoned a god. He had a bit of power to spare. So, pretty much the... The royal family was were his playthings, and the dancer, as a uh, as a low daughter of that royal family, as like a distant daughter of the royal family, only technically royalty, pretty much got to serve as his dancer, or possibly even his concubine, which makes sense if he if she stopped rendering her services, as it were. It makes sense that he might have uh, 
exiled her, sentenced her to and sentenced her to fate as an outrider knight. Now, where's the pontiff's eyes? Here we go. Yep. So these are the eyes. <laughs> yeah, these are the eyes that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights, namely, I think, his outrider knights, Vort and Dancer. Now, knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. Namely, hounds and serpents. These are the two rings that we got. Sorry, that would have been given to Vort and Dancer. Uh -huh. What do you got for me? Fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got the souls, I got the souls. Okay, transposition. What do we got? Uh, Deacons, no, we've already spent that. Stray Demon, Wall Near, Dancer. Here we go. Soothing Sunlight. Huh. Heals. Okay. Special miracle granted to the Maidens of the Princess of Sunlight. Really? The miracles of Guinevere, the princess cherished by all, bestowed a blessing upon a great many warriors. She followed Guinevere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Turning a solid dancer into this miracle tells us volumes, right? Because it means she was actually a follower of Guinevere, who has either died or been banished. And Pontiff Sullivan instead followed Aldrich, or quite possibly followed Aldrich, who supplanted the gods and devoured the gods. It's entirely possible that in this canon, Aldrich may have consumed Guinevere. Could that be? Yeah, I thought Dark Sun Gwendolyn was the god he had imprisoned, but maybe it was. Maybe he also imprisoned Guinevere. Maybe there was not just one. Anyway, her being tied to Guinevere like this makes the royal family being tied to Guinevere like this makes Pontiff Sullivan's position a lot more clear. So he pretty much took her and demeaned her, turning her from a princess into a dancer. And then, when she would still not break after that, he sentenced her to become... Um... What was the word? Outrider Knight. Become an Outrider Knight, banished from her homeland, and also turned into a beast by the Dark Eye. Was it the Dark Eye? Um... Hum. Yeah, black orb. Yeah, and it's, it's an eye. Look at it, it's an eye. Okay. What else can we get from the... Hmm. <laughs> huh. Okay, I don't know if I ever actually looked at this description. Miracle of Aldrich. No, it's a miracle. Okay, cool. Aldrich dreamt that he... That, sorry. Dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the dark moon. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. The God of the Dark Moon. Is that Dark Sun Gwendolyn? Or is that someone else? Huh. So Archdeacon MacDonald is the one. That was the uh, corpse we found down beneath the uh, cathedral in Irifil. And he turned him into clergymen and sorcerers. That's cool. Okay, uh, Dancer, here we go, there's the other one. Dancer's Enchanted Swords. Paired Enchanted Swords that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. These blades, symbolic of the Dancer's vows, are enchanted by dark magic in the right hand and fire in the left, mirroring the Pontiff. So it was dark magic he had. That purple stuff was dark magic. Okay, it... That straight up tells us he was totally with Aldrich, or at least against Gwendolyn, and that is why he banished that is why he banished the dancer Yorm the Giant great shield used long ago by Yorm the Giant increases the user's poise as a lord Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one man vanguard following the loss of the one he wished to protect he forsook his shield who did he seek to protect 
Dark Moon Gwendolyn. Okay, not Dark Sun Gwendolyn, Dark Moon Gwendolyn. Okay. Ah, uh, Yom the Giant. Here we go, Great Machete. Great Machete wielded long ago by Yom the Giant. Yom once slumbered on the front lines with a great shield. But one day, in place of a shield, a left hand notch was added to his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become his legacy, become the legacy of his later years. Hmm. Oh, he once lumbered on the front lines of a great shield. I thought he slumbered on the front lines. That makes that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> I'd be very surprised if he went to the front lines and just like went to sleep holding a shield, which is awesome and epic, but probably not what happened. He could have. Who's to say? Who's to say? Uh, I like these spells. Let's go to Dancer. And now we're entering, entering actual Lofric Castle. Like, straight up. That's pretty cool. Huh. This is the only tale known by the exiles who believe it carries words of forgiveness. Cursed journeys too must come to an end. Untrue Darkring. Retain human appearance while hollow. Blah, blah, blah. blah. There's no wonder they're so deeply detested. Okay. Place Basin. Oh, I should have seen the... Oh, I didn't see the item description for the basin. Ow. Ew. Ew. So I wonder who that knight was. Like there was a guy who was petrified and kept there. The sole purpose was to fill that bowl. Was this a curse or an honor? Love ahead. Really? <clears throat> I don't see it. Let's go this way. What's through here, I wonder? Huh. It's a impossible. Could this be a door? Well, almost. Hey, there's a guy down there. <laughs> Weary warrior? Ah, oh, yeah, there's still dragons in low frick. Uh, that's a problem. Be friend or be dead? Alright, so. Wow. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go crazy, buddy. Let's not go crazy. Oh no, he's going crazy. He's going crazy on me. Uh oh. Bad move. Bad move. Oh, bad move. Wow. One shot, two shot, there we go. Oh, that's an explode. Yeah, there we go. Cathedral Night Armor, large type knight. Large, give me chunks, man. All these large type knight shots are just blowing chunks. Wow, a lot of guys died to that guy, didn't they? Be wary of toxic. Try fire, death or monstrosity. Be wary of monster eat. <coughs> monster -y? Monstrosity, but try fire. Good to know. Um, nah, I'm good. I'll just take it as it comes. Ok, 
consumed King's Garden. <clears throat> it's the shot. Nice. Uh. Ugh. 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 Oh dear. These are just like um. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. <laughs> it appears that the um. Abyss parasites are spreading. It's supposed to be a bad thing. A chunk! Is that our second chunk? Tell me that's our second chunk. It's our second chunk! I do like chunks. High ground, high ground. Okay. So it appears that this whole place is toxic and awful. Let me guess, I step in here and I get toxic. Being a sacrifice, not worth it. <coughs> it's like, it looks like snow or something, but it's uh, super, super, super toxic. It's not good for me. It's not good for anyone. Are you coming? You coming at me, bro? They look slightly more interested. Uh, you know what? You guys, you can do your thing. I'll do mine. I'm just not gonna worry about you. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of this. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Ow. No, no, no. Hmm. I tried to push him when I should have shielded. Shielded, dodged. I tried to push him when I should have dodged. Okay. That's a butt. Okay, it does go to the garden, but it goes like through all this toxic crap. I can handle that. This. Excuse me, sir. You appear to be making a mess. <coughs> 2500. That's a lot of souls. Abyss or otherwise, that's delicious. Okay. What are you? Ugh, you're a goopy gooper. Get out of here. I remember you, you guys were in the uh the um what do you call it? Forest of Crucifixion. Weren't ya? Weren't ya? Oh come on! Come on! You just kinda held on to that one. You're like Ah, oh, he's gonna roll. He's gonna roll. And when he does, I'm gonna get him. Well, you did. I hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that phantom scared me. <laughs> I thought there was some weird lightning thing going on in the elevator. Didn't want none of that. A little bit of this. Can I target him from here? Let me target you. Get closer, let me target you. Let me target you. Yes. Oh no! Uh oh, mistakes were made. Alright, high ground. One more before he gets me. Yes. <coughs> Large Titanite. Do these guys have nothing else on offer, really? Really? Wow, he hits hard with that thing. Did 
just grab my souls real quick before he does something naughty to me. Jeez, this guy, he's like killing me even with his shield. Ow. And this is a weapon unenchanted, I'll have you know. Get my stand back, bro. Get him. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> All that. Oh yeah, I'm out of... <laughs> I'm out of juice. Where'd he go? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, ho, 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 ho. he likes not that. He likes not that one bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. One more. There we go. Get out of here, you and your large Titanite shard. Is that all they've got? Is that literally all they've got to offer me here? Shadow stuff. Black firebomb. Claw. Toxic. I got literally everything I had to offer. <laughs> I'll check those items later when I'm not dying of toxic. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. On the bright side, now I can walk around here without worrying. More human pine resin, nice. Oops. Um, what are you doing here? Oh wow, okay, yeah, of course, I was... I was toxic. Of course I was gonna die in one shot. So can I... Can I get around these guys? Um, something tells me no. <laughs> also, I find the name of this area very interesting. Consumed King's Garden. Which could be interpreted... Awesome. Which could be interpreted in a couple of different ways. Either the garden itself has become consumed, which seems likely given what we're witnessing, or the king is consumed. He is the consumed king. In which case, what's he consumed by? But given what the uh, lady here said, I suspect it's more towards the latter. That, um... The king is actually consumed by something. Bureau of Death, Sniper Spot, Tough Enemy Head. Okay. <coughs> um... I'm worried of death. That guy's like a regular dude. That guy's not. That guy is. I can just cast cells at him too. Watch this. Wow. How's your shield against magic, bro? Not that great? Oh, wow. He's got a healer. Alright, tell you what. If you're gonna be fancy, then I can be fancy too, son. A little bit of this. Oh, you're fancy. He's not healing, is he, anymore? <coughs> oh, hello. I know that move. I know that move. Okay, but remember, we need to uh, take out the healer first. <laughs> He's actually not that bad without a healer, because I almost got him down with magic. Who are these guys, man? Why is this knight so much tougher than the other guys? Apart from the fact that he's a healer. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Mm 
Okay. Yeah, just take it. Take it like a man. <clears throat> this. Have some of that. Have some of that. This guy have a special item for me? Yeah, he had an ember. It's nice of him, I guess. And I get my 800 souls. Yeah, yeah, worth it. Crestfallen Knights. Eh, I'll take it. Doesn't move. I'm assuming that goes down to the garden. <laughs> and what's up here? Is that a... What kind of note is that? Oh, that's a... Dookie knight. You get me gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another guy there. Yeah, I saw him. This is like the old Boulder Knights. Except much, much nastier. Oh, he's gonna charge me. Ah, he's gonna try to charge me. Important distinction there. Must be made. One down. Ow. Huh! Where you going, buddy? Oh. He's going to block me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You don't have any friends. You know why? Because I killed your last friend. Meh. I was really hoping I could kill him then, because that would have been a good line to kill him on. But unfortunately, he brought up a shield. There we go. And now you have no friends, not even yourself. So yeah, these are clearly Lothric Knights, or Boulder Knights, depending on which iteration of them you want to believe. <clears throat> so they're the same as the guys outside, they're just slightly better trained. Or just scaled up for our level. Hm. This is really interesting. These statues holding their own heads in their hands. Because we saw... Okay, the um... The way we got in was by the statue at the bottom basically decapitating itself. So... What are all these headless knights? What's the significance here? I'm sure there's some. I'm sure it's cool. Hmm. Huh. Oh man. Look at this place. This place is huge. No shortcut ahead. I doubt that very much so. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Alright, well, we, we, we got the bonfire. That's good. That's enough for one episode. I'll see you guys next time. And we died a lot. Sephra does die a lot. It's a documented fact by this point. I hope you enjoy. See you later.